The Chosen One is what the Sports Illustrator called him. He's the NBA's all-time leading scorer, the only player in NBA history to record at least 30,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, and 10,000 assists. The Basketball Prodigy, the heir apparent to Michael Jordan, this little homeless kid from Ohio, became the invincible LeBron James as we know him. Anyhow, is he the greatest player to ever grace the game of basketball? How good is he? Where does he stand in the GOAT debate? How long will he continue to dominate? Brace yourselves, because today's video is going to throw you out of your seats. LeBron came down the skies of Akron, Ohio in December 1984 to 16-year-old Gloria James. Life was as hard for little James as it could get. The young kid spent half his childhood without a permanent home. On top of that, cold Ohio winters made it worse as he and his mother moved from one relative's house to another, looking for a place to survive. It was not until the age of nine that LeBron had some stability in his life as he was taken in by Frank Walker, a generous guy who worked as a local youth basketball coach. As time passed by, James started to show signs of his innate talent. Before he even began his ascent to basketball immortality, he was first known for his football ability. As a matter of fact, for the first two years of high school, James considered the possibility of playing football in college. Oh God, imagine LeBron in the NFL. He would have given Tom Brady a run for his money. <laughs> but good for us, the king chose basketball. And well, skimming through his high school record, his decision made sense. He was always special. He surpassed the kids of his age and balling was too easy for him. Some called him the second coming of Jesus. Oh goodness. As he joined St. Vincent St. Mary High School, he was recruited to join their basketball team in 1999, and oh god, this boy was formidable. As a freshman, LeBron James averaged 21 points and 6.2 rebounds per game to lead St. Vincent to a state title. As a sophomore, he was even better. He averaged 25.2 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 5.8 assists per game, and was drawing comparisons to Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, and Magic Johnson. Damn, the boy was miles ahead of the competition. As a junior, he had become so good that he averaged 29 points per game and had already established himself as the best high school basketball player in North America. Jeez, you won't believe me when I say he wanted to enter the 2002 NBA draft. <laughs> but it did make sense because as a senior, he was anointed Michael Jordan's heir apparent the chosen one, and he was dishing out 31 points and 9.6 rebounds per game. In a nutshell, James's career as a high school athlete was one of the greatest in sports history and it blew through the roof as he appeared on the cover of the Sports Illustrator and was featured in Slam Magazine. As high school ended, 19-year-old LeBron announced to the world that he wasn't going to college, he was going to the 2003 NBA drafts. And at this point, the NBA and the fans were going berserk. This boy had already become a national sensation. I mean, for reference, you guys saw the hype around Zion and Wemby just recently. Well, quadruple that. As the boy from Akron, Ohio became the top draft in the class of 2003, he was the number one pick by the Cleveland Cavaliers. And all it took for him was one game on October 29th, 2003, James, four months after he'd finished high school, made his highly anticipated NBA debut against the Sacramento Kings. He finished the night with 25 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, and 4 steals. Yes, these were the numbers of a rookie on his debut against a team that had finished the 2002 season second in the league in defensive efficiency. Holy God! According to some, LeBron had mesmerized one of the league's loudest crowds with skills no teenager had ever displayed at this level. Ian Thompson wrote about LeBron in his book, saying he was the most gifted prospect the NBA scouts had ever seen. The anticipation for his greatness was almost universal. You see, James entered the league able to score 25, but it was just the start. And it was the step-by-step, year-over-year process that saw LeBron develop from an overwhelming physical talent into a precise, versatile craftsman. He had enormous expectations and pressure on his shoulders. After all, he was Michael Jordan's heir. During his first stint with the Cavaliers, he didn't win a championship in seven years, although he led an improbable Cavaliers team to the 2007 NBA Finals. However, in 2010, when he made one of the most controversial moves the league had ever seen, success came his way. Miami Heat was where he earned his first two championships in back-to-back -back fashion, as well as two of his four league MVP trophies, also in back-to-back -back seasons. 
But at the same time, he became the NBA's supervillain for the decision. But all reparations were made in 2016 as LeBron won the Cavaliers their first championship in 52 years. Damn. He then moved to the Lakers, bringing back the days of glory from the Kobe era as he won a championship in 2020. So putting all this in perspective, how good is LeBron actually? He is hands down the most decorated player the sport has ever seen. As one individual, he embodies the essence of every legendary player to play the game, possessing the imposing size and strength similar to Wilt Chamberlain and Shaq, the exceptional court vision and team play mindset reminiscent of Larry Bird and Magic, and the lightning fast speed, athleticism, and aerial prowess of Jordan, Dominique, or Kobe. More importantly, he has spent more than half of his career contending for the championship. James is 4-6 and six lifetime in NBA Finals, and he's won an NBA championship from every franchise he's represented. In fact, 2011-2018 to was a supernova period for LeBron in Miami and Cleveland, as he bent the NBA to his will. And how can we ever forget the greatest comeback in NBA history, as the Cavaliers bounce back against the Warriors in the 2016 NBA Championship Finals? Sometimes he feels too good to be true. It's been over two decades. It began with the 2004 NBA Rookie of the Year, and it has come down to four regular season MVPs, four NBA Finals MVPs, and 20 NBA All-Star nominations amongst an endless list of achievements. All of this was topped by a lifetime achievement in February 2023 as LeBron surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the highest point scorer in the history of the game. As of now, he's the first player in the NBA to bag 39,000 points. The only guy to have averaged 25 points per game or more in every season he's played, and based on longevity, he has no competition. He's in a league of his own. But where does he stand when compared to Michael Jordan? It's an interesting comparison to make, but both of these players are legends in their own capacity. Where Michael Jordan has an immaculate 6-0 record in the NBA Championship Finals with 6 rings, 5 MVPs including 2 snubs, followed by his unreal clutch plays and defensive prowess which won him the Defensive Player of the Year award, an accomplishment that has eluded James. No wonder he's called the Black Jesus. LeBron, on the other hand, is a more efficient player, shooting better from 2 and 3 point range, being a better passer and rebounder than Jordan ever was. As far as LeBron's retirement is concerned, my man has no plans of hanging up his boots until he gets a chance to play with his elder son, Bronny James. So yeah, once he fulfills that dream, we might see the end of the greatest NBA career in the history of the sport. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to dunk on that subscribe button. Until next time, peace!